So we are one week into 2023 and Wizards of the Coast are already going for the ultra any percent speed run of destroying their own company as quickly as possible. Unless you fell into a coma on December 23rd and you've only just woke up, you have heard about the insane drama unfolding around Wizards of the Coast trying to update the Open Gaming License or the OGL. This is basically a document that allows the public to create content using an abstracted, watered-down version of the D&D rules. Every D&D fan thing you've seen uses this reference. Uh, my magazine, The DM Secret Weapon, on Patreon. Every D&D Kickstarter, Critical Role stuff, Pathfinder, even massive video games like the Knights of the Old Republic. Yes, those games used the open gaming license. This was amazing for WotC and D&D because it made their system the system that everyone uses. Okay, so a key part of this thing was the promise that this OGL would last forever. You could make your content now and you wouldn't be screwed over later by Wizards of the Coast trying to change their mind. In a Q&A from 2001, which WotC have since taken down because apparently they don't know that web archives are a thing, Wizards of the Coast said, Even if Wizards made a change to the OGL you disagreed with, you could continue to use an earlier, acceptable version at your option. In other words, there's no reason for Wizards to ever make a change that the community of the people using the open gaming license would object to because the community would just ignore the change anyway. So here comes the kick in the balls. Wizards of the Coast have decided to fuck that right off and attempt to completely screw over every content creator. They are attempting to revoke the old license and replace it with a new one, which is just so cartoonishly evil and horrible that when I saw a leak of it in December, I didn't want to publish a video about it because I knew you wouldn't believe me. But now the leak's out there, so we can all see just how greedy and vicious Wizards of the Coast are actually being. There's a lot in here, but I'm going to give you the cliff notes of basically what they are trying to do. 1. Wizards get the right to use any content that anyone makes for any reason and pay zero royalties. Basically, anything anyone makes is theirs, and they can sell it forever and give you nothing. They can steal it, basically. 2. You have to report everything to Watsy. You have to tell them what you made, you have to tell them what you charge, you have to tell them what you earned. Basically, a ton of red tape for all creators to jump through to make it super easy for Wizards of the Coast to steal your stuff. 3. You can only create content if you sign this agreement. If you try to create content without signing, they will sue you. Okay, this is where it gets really messed up, and, and I want to stress this. Wizards planned to release this document on January 4th, with the deadline to sign being January the 13th. They gave creators one week to sign up to this awful deal or their business was over. They could not publish again without being sued. There are creators out there whose entire livelihoods are based around making D&D content. Wizards essentially said you have one week to agree to this disgustingly, offensively bad deal for you, and if you don't sign, you can't make stuff. It's your choice, but if you want to be able to feed your kids and pay your mortgage, you probably better sign, shouldn't you? Most D&D creators aren't rich. They're just normal, self-employed people getting by. This deal was designed to destroy them or force them to give everything to Wizards. But don't worry, it gets so much worse. 4. Wizards can change anything about this new OGL at any time and they only need to give 30 days notice. So even if you signed it and did everything right, they could still just change it later and completely fuck you over. 5. And now we're getting to the good stuff. Wizards can terminate your contract at any time for any reason. Yes, if you piss wizards off, like for example, by making a video just like this one, they can say, you're out. They have this clause which states they can kick you for any offensive materials included in your work. That sounds kind of sensible, right? Except this wording is just camouflage, because in reality, wizards themselves are the ones who decide what is and isn't offensive, so they can kick you for anything they want. So if I piss them off, they could look through my content and say, Look, this Castanute race has a sub-race who live in a polyamorous society, and we find that offensive. Polyamory is contrary to Wizards of the Coast's stance on the sanctity of marriage or whatever, your business is over. This is just an example, and yes, it sounds crazy because it is, but that is what Wizards of the Coast have the right to do. And most importantly, if Wizards of the Coast abused this, that creator 
can't sue them. Because by signing this document, you waive your right to take legal action against Wizards of the Coast. The only reason this clause is in here is so Wizards of the Coast can do whatever they want to creators and the creators can't do a thing back. This is an abusive level of coercion to hang over people's heads. Who is going to stand up to Wizards of the Coast if they can just hold the thread of ending your business and putting your family on the streets if they don't like you? 6. Wizards of the Coast wants 25% of anything any business earns above $750,000 per year, or 20% if that money comes from Kickstarter. Now, this might not sound too relevant, but it is. Firstly, it kills all big Kickstarters. They are just not profitable enough to justify this type of gouging, but that is only the start. Remember, wizards can change this contract at any time, so once you've signed up, that number could come down where they're taking 20% of everything anyone earns over $20,000 a year, or 100% of everything you earn over $50,000 a year. Remember, you can't sue them and they can change it at any time. This part of the clause is so obviously spiteful. Wizards of the Coast are a billion dollar company. They don't care. Like in terms of their bottom line, they don't care about getting an extra $100,000 here or there. They really don't care. This only exists to take a big chunk out of the creators who are making great D&D content. They damn well know that Kickstarters like Heliana's Guide and Fool's Gold and Eldritch Hunt are leagues better than anything Wizards of the Coast have released in years. So if the community are banding together and making you look bad by releasing amazing stuff, what do you do? Well, you just change the licensing agreement and completely screw them over. Oh, and you can steal their book as well, obviously, and then just sell it yourself. And then terminate their contract and put them out of business. Oh yeah, and they can't sue you for it. Amazing. But the drama just goes on and on. Wizards of the Coast have already been threatened with a lawsuit over the proposed changes to the OGL. The original creator of the OGL has come out and said, we made this with the belief and the intent that it would last forever. And we promised that it would last forever. People are boycotting Wizards of the Coast. Tons of creators are just walking away from D&D altogether. It is hell on earth right now. This has honestly been the most stressful and difficult time to be a content creator that I've ever lived through. It's not just the financial security, although yes, that is terrifying. It is the knowledge that all the love and the work that I've put into the magazine and on Patreon across the last year is just going to get funneled right into this greedy, shitty, coercive company. I've had content creator friends contact me in tears worrying how they're going to feed their kids. And for all that terror and cruelty and greed, Wizards of the Coast are justifiably taking a massive spanking on Twitter, Reddit, and YouTube. And what do Wizards have to say about all of this stuff? Well, absolutely nothing. Wizards have released no statements, no clarification. There are just hundreds of creators all over the world wondering if we're out of a job. Um, I honestly don't see my relationship with Wizards of the Coast ever improving. Not that Wizards of the Coast ever wanted a relationship with me anyway, I know that, but I always tried to think the best of them. I, I really can't see after what they've tried to do here, me ever thinking well of them as a company again. Please tweet at Wizards on Twitter. Use the hashtag OpenDD and make your feelings known. If you believe this is wrong, tell them. Make a fuss because that's the only way we can beat this. Anyway, I'll try to keep you updated on this. Remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.